What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be unboxing Knuckle Crunchers Series 3 featuring Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles, Dominic Mysterio, and John Cena. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we are going to be unboxing WWE Mattel's Knuckle Crunchers Series 3. I am a big fan of these Knuckle Crunchers. We've already unboxed Series 1, Series 2, and the Rebound Ring on the channel. Go back and check them out. I will link them in this video for an easy access for all of you if you haven't watched them already. We've unboxed Seth, The Rock, Cody Rhodes, Stone Cold, Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley, Sheamus, John Cena's first figure, and Brock Lesnar from the ring. And today we're going to be doing John Cena, his second figure, the only person to get two figures in the line so far. There are going to be more. AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic Mysterio. Very excited for these. And if you haven't or you have watched the previous uh, videos that we've done, they do not feature the tattoos that they should very sparingly. Some figures will have tattoos, some won't. But we're going to get into all of that very, very soon as we do this. And uh, we are going to start off with John Cena because, as I said, he is the first p person to get a complete re-release uh, in this line. The original, I will show you, is a standard John Cena in the black jorts, green hat, green bands, and a yellow band here, shirtless. This one clearly has a t-shirt on. Um, and honestly, this is the one that I had to drive all over to find, and luckily we were able to pick it up so I could actually do this uh, unboxing for everybody. But we're going to start off with this one. One of my favorite things about it is the artwork on them. I think if you were a mint on car collector, these would look really cool, but we are opening these bad boys up. There's the rebound ring that we were talking about. Each one comes with accessories. It says here that John Cena comes with the crutch and stretcher accessory. So we're going to take a look at that first. Let's see. How do we open it? Right here on the side. The glue is serious on this one. Holy crap. They really doubled up on the glue on these on this set. So in here, they're usually in a baggie, but it appears that this set, they're not. They're just kind of loose in there. Here is the stretcher. Also came with the rebound ring and the crutch. So every figure has some kind of accessory that you can uh, check out. Let's see if it's easy to get John Cena off of here. You just kind of pull it off. Um, now, they're called knuckle crunchers because they're small, and they have a ratchet joint that kind of clicks them into place. Same exact head as the last one. Nothing on the back of the shirt, completely just red, but it's got the Never Give Up C-Nation shirt. Nothing on the bands. And a You Can't See Me hat. Not too exciting. That's why I did this one first. Blue jorts as opposed to black, but I wasn't going to not complete the collection because of one figure. And after all, I love John Cena shirts on figures, so I like this better than the first one. So if I had to pick one, it would have been this one anyway. So happy to add it to the collection. But again, this was the hardest one for me to find. So we will put Mr. Juan Cena right over there. And we're going to start moving on to new characters, AJ Styles. And one thing about these that... Uh, viewers seem to like and myself is that they have really good head scans and a lot of people ask uh, will these heads work on elites well you can see back here we have a ultimate warrior figure and the size difference is massive these heads will not work on elites so please do not waste your money trying to get these head sculpts so you can put them on an elite because it is not going to look right it's going to look like the uh, shrunken head guy from beetlejuice but there is aj's picture on the side very cool he does have his tattoo there he appears to come with a sledgehammer a barricade and a shovel all right so let's open this bad boy up all right a little bit easier than john cena's let's see if there's a baggie in this one or if they're all loose as well looks like they're all loose they're doing away with the baggies i guess doing away with the baggies already 
So here is the sledgehammer. Obviously, this will be really good for a Triple H when that comes. And here we have a shovel. This will be really good for an Undertaker whenever that comes. Uh, not exactly slated. was not shown at San Diego Comic-Con 2024, so time will tell. And also, I plan on displaying these on a shelf, so I'm really excited that we get a bunch of barricades. I think I have quite a few of these now, so it'll be really cool to lead them to the ring. And maybe over time, we'll be able to uh, just completely surround the ring. It's cool because they have these handles on the side for the figures to grip onto and kind of just like pull apart. But that is not what I am going to do with them. I'm not using these to play with. I'm a displayer, not a player. And here we're going to take a look at AJ Styles. He has his forearm band. He has his elbow pad. He has his gloves. And again, really good likeness on him here. Nothing on the back. But he does have the P1 on the right side. Phenomenal down the right boot. One on the left and the AJ logo on the left side. I mean, there's a lot of detail in this figure as opposed to some of the others. And you will notice that he does have his AJ tattoo with the dates of all of his children's births. So, I mean, pretty accurate figure here as compared to the other ones. For instance, let me show you if you haven't watched previous episodes. The Rock does not have his Brahma Bull tattoo, and this is like classic Rock, so it's kind of disappointing to not have that on there, and maybe in time they will, because it appeared that the upcoming Rock is going to have tattoos on it, so we shall see. AJ Styles looks really good. The uh, paint apps on this for being a small scale figure are actually very good on the face. The hair is draped over the shoulders and uh, everything looks pretty good. Checks out really well. Um, interesting. Interesting to go with AJ over some others. Like I was saying, I think Triple H has a, a, a great spot in the line. I think uh, Undertaker would as well. And I'm sure in time we will get them all. So I know Damian Priest is coming. Finn Balor is coming. A lot of good names and large stars coming and now we are going to move on to a father-son pairing and that is Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio we're going to start off with Rey nice portrait on the side really cool he's got a Lucha Legend t-shirt on now I really wish that he did not come with the t-shirt I wish it was just a bare-chested uh Rey Mysterio for obvious reasons because that's how he wrestles but it's pretty obvious why they went this route and that's because you don't have to do all the tattoo deco so they completely got out of doing the tattoos by throwing a shirt on them. I get it. It's a kid's toy, and I am a collector, so it's not really marketed to me, even though I do love this line. So we're going to take this out. He comes with a green trash can, which is really nice. The lid comes off, and it is squishy, kind of reminiscent of the old Jack's BCA uh, trash can accessories, WWE on the bottom, and you can put their hand in here to hold the lid or hold on to the can itself. So very well done. I'm digging this. I'm digging this green trash can. I don't think the other ones are green. And um, interesting enough, for some reason, I just noticed the only one of this whole set that has, I'm sorry, the only two of this whole set that have the ring on it are um, John Cena and AJ Styles. So green trash can. Let's rip out Ray and take a look at him. There we go. All right. So, again, no tattoos whatsoever. He has a T-shirt on. Kind of sucks that it's it's a T-shirt as opposed to, um, you know, his full wrestling gear. But there is a lot of detail on the mask. Not so much on the tights. They're pretty much blank, yellow. Back of the shirt is black. And they have a couple of the uh, mask wings on the uh, thighs there. Shirt is the Lucha Legend shirt that he was wearing. It says 2002 to 2023. Um, greatest mask of all time. But obviously he was in uh, wrestling a lot longer than 2002. But that's the WWE years. And over here he has, I can't even read what it says, but it's the Rey Mysterio crest there. And he's got a yellow, red, black, and silver mask. They did include the silver on the back of the mask, which is surprising to me. I expected the mask to be completely blank on the back. So very nice. They do have holes in the bottoms of the feet, even though there are no stands specifically for these yet. Uh, you know, they don't even really need them because they kind of stand pretty well on their own. But pretty cool. The thing about this that I like is that he is definitely, like, perfect for doing, like, a 619 uh, 
with the ring. It's just that the ropes are a little bit too small, but still a lot of fun here. Decent likeness on him. It does look like Ray in the face, but obviously not the best one that they've done for Mattel. But I am excited for this. This is one I saved for last because it's the one that I, I was very excited about, and that is Dominic Mysterio. He's in that uh, Halloween Havoc style gear that he was rocking. Long hair, the mullet. Obviously does not have the mustache. There he is kicking his father. So pretty cool. And he comes with a pallet and two by four. So we're going to pop that out first. There's the two by four. And the pallet is stuck in there. What the heck? Pallet. And now we're going to take Dominic out. There it is. And we'll talk about that in a second. But the pallet is breakable, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, like it's not really something I need. This isn't something I would really display for it. This is cool if they were going to do a hacksaw. But I highly doubt hacksaw is making it into the Knuckle Crunchers line. I mean, depending on how long it lasts. But I just don't see that happening. And now... The figure I wanted the most from here, but also the biggest disappointment of all of them, and that is Dominic Mysterio, because he does not have any of his tattoos. And he does have the wings on his gear, just like his father, the purple outlined in the white on the red uh, legs, as well as that um, body armor style gear that he has, all in purple. Purple is my, it's like a pinkish purple. All of my uh, favorite color is always going to be purple in some way, shape, or form. He does have the black wrist tape. And look at this head sculpt. Very, very good. Check out the, uh, check out the do, how it's cut there. You'll notice it has like a little bit of a hair fringe on this side. And this one's a little bit uh, more tighter. But still very cool. I dig this one. I just wish that he had all of his tattoos. So, of the four figures in this set, only one has tattoos and that is AJ Styles. But while we're doing it, let's talk about who overall has tattoos in this set. AJ Styles has tattoos. All right. His tattoo, he's accurate. Brock Lesnar has a tattoo. No shoulder, no back tattoos, but he has a tattoo. Roman Reigns does not have any tattoos on his figure, our tribal chief. Uh, who do we have here? I don't think Seth does either. Nope, Seth does not have his tattoos. The only other one that has tattoo is Cody Rhodes. He has his dream and his neck tat. So he is probably him and uh, AJ Styles are probably two of the most accurate as far as tattoos go. Stone Cold does not have his, but that's a pass. And Sheamus and Bobby Lashley, John Cena, do not have him as well. So, very interesting. I'm hoping over time we get a little bit more ink on these figures who have it. But that is our review of the Knuckle Cruncher Series 3. I really dig them. If I had to put them in order of best to not so best, because I don't want to say worse because they're not. I really do like the Dominic, but I don't think he's number one. I would say that the AJ Styles is number one. Then Dominic, then Ray, and then John Cena. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia available now on Amazon.com. Make sure you join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com and follow the Case Fresh podcast wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube and Instagram at Case Fresh Pod. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining me. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. 
with shots by Matthew Goldberg, the wrestling figure encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.